Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. Today I thought I'd work on a very rare piano that we have um, sitting on my carport actually. Um, this piano, i seen many of them. i seen probably like around four, probably four or five of them. But um, some of them just didn't play right at all. And um, now to finally own one, I could actually restore it. So this piano over here, it's a very, very rare piano. This, just to tell you a story about this piano, it's crossed between a square grand and it's crossed between a regular grand piano. So let me show you what this piano is. There it is right here. This is a cocked hat chicory. Now, as you guys can see, the piano kind of looks like it's been squished a little bit. It looks like somebody took a grand piano and went like that to it. Um, but it angles in a lot. Um, this curve over here is very, very deep. Right over here, right at the cutaway, it's very, very deep. And it, over on the back, it's very, very narrow. It's such a long piano. That's um, basically um, kind of almost a look to like a six quarter, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me walk you around the piano. Before I play it, I just want to walk you around the piano. See, in the front of it, it looks just like a regular grand piano. Um, you know more ornate and everything very very beautiful the wood that is on here this is a Brazilian rosewood and the finish on this piano is pretty good I actually um, polished it up made it look very very nice and not bad not bad has has a narrow narrow um, rear end and I'll show you the reason why but let me put it down i'm going to open it up now see if i could get it to an area where the sun's not going to get it there we go let me let me open it up for you this comes out just like this opens up okay now let me show you the inside so this is what it looks like the inside of the piano first the keyboard itself um, I haven't pulled out the action but the keyboard itself it looks really really good it's just missing an ivory so I have to go to the shop and get the missing ivory for it um, another thing that it has over here is that it has some beautiful work on the plate. I found out that the plate, it's basically the plate and the ribs, but the pin block is wood. The pin block itself is made out of wood. Um, this is actually a bicord piano. What I mean by a bicord piano, instead of having three strings on the treble section, it actually has two strings. So starting from the bass section all the way to the treble section. So it's two strings per note. Um, also, what I did over here, as you can see, I numbered each and every one of the strings uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to restore this piano. Uh, I'm going to get a new bass strings. I'm going to get the whole the whole piano is going to be restrung. So all these old strings are um, not going to be lasting that long. The action over here um, on the treble section, a very high soprano section, it's um, it's kind of stuck. So it's going to be hard to kind of play that. I didn't. I try to tune it the best way I can and it probably went down already but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually play the piano for you I just wanted you to see what it looks like and it's it's such a gorgeous piano if, if you don't even play the piano and you, you just want something to um, look really good really ornate in your house this is a perfect piano so um, okay now I'm going to put this down put it put it in the area where you guys can see it and I'm gonna play it for you I'm trying to get the camera straight there we go the pedals are not hooked up I can only play to this note all the way up here it's not tuned and some of the keys are just stuck so I have to pull out the action I have to actually fix the action um, but
this is unrestored. Um, the action needs work and the strings and these brand new strings on here. broken strings that are, you know, they're not even attached to the piano. So, like that noise right there, that's one of the broken strings. So let me let you guys look at the ivories on there. Here's the ivories. I just need to pan the camera down. The ivories are basically intact. It's really, really cool. I set this piano up myself, everybody. It's crossed between a square grand. Um, once I pull out the action, I can actually explain to you a lot more. But um, the action has hammers kind of like a square grand, and you can see it a little bit from the hammers that are poking out right there. Um, and crossed between the grand piano, the body of it, it's basically a grand piano. So that's why it's a hybrid between a square grand and a grand piano. And a lot of people have not seen these pianos before and think that the piano is actually defective because of the way how it looks. But that's the way how it was actually designed. Um, once I tweak up the action, I clean it, I make sure that all the gunk is out of the action. Um, and once I restore all the strings and I'm done with it. It's going to be such a good piano. It's going to be really cool. Um, I don't. I don't think I can actually play anything on it. But um... nice, right? It's worth uh, taking time and redoing. Um, once I get the string pattern on here, uh, I'm definitely going to work on the treble stretching of the strings because I have those already. Uh, and then I'm going to send the bass strings in to be remade and to be um, to be rejuvenated. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. Please click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. If you're on my Facebook, go to my YouTube. If you're on my YouTube, go to my Facebook. Thank you. Um, my channel has just blew up. You guys have helped me a lot, so thank you so much. Have a nice day. I'm gonna try to play my outro.